all right guys welcome back to the channel today's video is going to be about the drive cycle on a nissan xterra specifically first generation mine is from 2001 so let's say you uh you need your uh smog test or emission test and you disconnected the battery because you needed to fix something so if the computer computer has not done the all the tests that it needs you will not pass uh the emission test so things that you're gonna need before you start uh doing the drive cycle you can i'm gonna show you how to do this and you can do this within 10 miles of driving distance if you have uh, a highway or something that you could reach up to 55 miles per hour so what do you need you need an obd2 adapter i think the cheap ones will work i'm going to leave a link of the one i use but most important i find that this test is a lot easier to do with the torque app i use the paid version of the torque app and within the app there is the dashboard section and inside that dashboard you could customize it and put whatever you want uh, so if you're looking at the screen you can see that I have the emission test screen it is the only app that I have seen that that gives you that options within the dashboard and with all the gauges and stuff important I have the coolant temperature and GPS speed and I also have the the RPMs and the miles per gallon those two are not needed but you know I needed something to complete uh, the four gauges up on top so another thing that you're gonna need is a cold start to be considered a cold start the engine coolant has to be below or between negative 10 to 35 celsius or 14 degrees to 96 fahrenheit degrees important it has to be if you live in the united states below 96 fahrenheit the temperature outside ambient air temperature uh, between 20 to 30 Celsius or 68 to 86 Fahrenheit very important I did this test and it was 54 degrees outside and it's perfect because I get to show you how I managed to do it very important number three or number four I lost track of the things that I'm telling you you're gonna need a half fuel tank it is recommended that you go from a quarter to three quarters but I find I found out that half a tank it's the sweet spot for this test and to begin once you have all of that and you have your uh, OBD2 connected with the app all hooked up and everything in a place where you can see it you're gonna turn on the engine turn the AC on turn the headlights on high beam it's better and you're going to turn on your rear defroster and you're going to keep the engine at idle until the uh, the coolant reaches 170 degrees fahrenheit or 77 uh, celsius the temperature is very important in this test and other vehicles temperature is not important and what it's important is the dry the the miles that you drive but with the Nissan Xterra I have found that temperature plays a very important role on this test so let's go out to do the drive portion of this test all right so we're driving I am 5.5 miles in into the test and you can see that I have almost everything green with the screen right there the only thing I'm missing is the O2 sensor test to be completed. The most tricky one is the EVAP. If it does, if, you, if the truck doesn't do the EVAP test within five miles, there's something wrong with the EVAP. So you could have a small leak and it won't give you a check engine light real, uh, like real quick, but it won't pass, you know, it won't complete the test. 
and it also depends on the state that you're in some t states do not require the EVAP test to be in you know to be completed so you can see I'm driving 55 miles per hour and uh, it's not doing the O2 sensor test and that's because it's cold outside look at the temperature is 179.6 so what I had to do uh, here is I'm driving it in third gear I'm using a manual transmission so if you're using an automatic most likely shift down to second gear and what I'm basically doing is not worry about the speed I'm worried about the engine coolant temperature I want to get this up to a hundred and 85 degrees that's a, I'm speeding up the the footage right now so it looks like I'm driving fast but I'm not really driving fast I just want that temperature to go up 185 degrees remember to be able to complete this test headlights on AC on while you're driving and uh, um, the rear defrost defroster on that's gonna pull a lot of current and help that O2 sensor kick in and help the computer do that test so you can see it takes a while I've driven quite a, a few miles up to here and it's still not up to 185 degrees and it it's because it's cold outside and look at this 185 degrees and the test is complete so it took me 11.2 miles and that's only because it was cold but if it was a warmer day let's say 70 degrees it this test would have taken maybe less than 10 miles for uh 10 miles on the on the trip so hope this helps a uh, few views if you like the content please hit that like share it with your friends that really helps thank you for watching Peace out.